Anyone who's been watching TV for some time will be familiar with Mexican-American actor Kevin Alejandro, who has made appearances on more shows throughout the 2000s and 2010s than you could count. Check out these seven facts you probably didn't know about Kevin Alejandro. He was a young soap star. Alejandro began his acting career in 2003 with a guest role in the television series Crossing Jordan. Following this, he had guest roles in several other television shows before landing his first big break on the popular daytime soap opera The Young and the Restless, honing his melodramatic chops playing Dominic Hughes on a 15-episode arc of the long-running show. His Young and the Restless storyline ran between 2004 and 2005, a success he was able to parlay into guest spots on a few critically acclaimed primetime series, including Kiefer Sutherland's national security thriller, 24. He wasn't originally cast in Lucifer. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Alejandro playing Detective Douche. However, at first, Kevin Alejandro wasn't cast as Dan Espinoza. In the series pilot, the character was actually played by Nicholas Gonzalez, whom you might recognize from The Good Doctor, how to get away with murder, and Narcos. Alejandro told BuzzFeed, I didn't audition. I was actually a recast after they shot the pilot. He and a co-star got matching tattoos. While filming Lucifer, Alejandro got matching tattoos with co-star Leslie Ann Brandt. He got angel wings on his forearm, while Brandt took one of Maze Keen's distinctive knives and had it inked onto her forearm. He voiced Jace Tallis in Arcane. Released towards the end of 2021, Arcane quickly took the world by storm, becoming one of Netflix's highest-rated original series of all time. Alejandro took on the role of Jace because his son is an avid League of Legends player. He started a scholarship. Together with his friend Stephen Monroe Taylor, Alejandro started the Jerry P. Worsham Scholarship Fund for underprivileged theater students, to help them go to college. He has also stepped behind the camera. Alejandro's skills do not end with acting, as he has also put on the directing hat a few times in the past. He directed several episodes of the television series Lucifer and Arrow. He met his wife while helping a friend move into an apartment. Alejandro met his wife, Leslie de Jesus Alejandro, while helping a friend move into an apartment. They have been married since 2004. Together, they created a film production company that they co-own alongside Danny De Jesus. The company aims to tell culturally diverse stories in an entertaining way, particularly within the Latin community.